on TV Media News. This is Gnome Night of Main Events. Mm -hmm. Jada Nightwing versus Av. Oh, that battle was kind of crazy. Man, I was trying to fuck it up, huh? Were you? So let's just jump right into it, right? There were some stumbles. Man. In the beginning, All talk about place, that. Man. What was I was that about? excited. I was trying to, I was just trying to go, and it just Drake not even here yet, though. Man, and I was just like okay? slipping all over the place. I was like, yo, like the crowd's back. Oh, oh, man, like. But then second round, I was like, nah, I need to focus. Get back together. You know what I mean? And then, so, I feel like still with that first, like. Do you feel like you won a second and third? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I, I ain't gonna hold you. Old traditional sense, mm -hmm. I could understand why niggas giving that at the first. Okay. But I ain't gonna lie, I said some shit in that first. I still got some shit off, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna <laughs> hold you. I was saying some shit in that first. I mean, first we're gonna let the people decide. Um, yeah. I did look at the fan vote before it left the screen. Uh -huh. The fan vote had you at around 2,000 and had him at around 6,000. For the first round? For the battle. For the entire battle? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. At so the end clear. of the battle. So maybe that was the third round. Maybe I'm wrong. But mm. how that's do you clear. feel about that? That's, 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 I can see it. It's Av's third and, you know, with the first and the third, like, it's like, like Av had a, fun, that was his best round in my opinion, his third. So if you give an ad the third and then you give him the first, does anybody, he, man, his second wasn't too bad neither. <laughs> if you got him, if you got him 30, I, I ain't gonna argue with you. Like, cause Av is, I, I don't know. I just be feeling Now like we I'm talked about this shit. yesterday, right? What, what's up with the new style? Like what's going on? I gotta it's ask me. you while I got you here because before you used to be sweatpants, t-shirt, yeah. grunge I wasn't look, getting no gnomes was, though. Oh. I wasn't getting no gnomes though. Oh, you know what I'm saying? okay. So you, you elevated while elevating. Yeah, yeah. I had to, you know, <laughs> I had to level up. Can't just be looking the same. It's got to look like a journey, you know what I mean? Yeah, My definitely. Was, yeah, it's got to look like a journey. It's got to look like, all right, you started at one point and then you slowly, like, you know what I mean? I, I ain't trying to get too, you ain't about to see me in the Balenciagas anytime soon or nothing like that. Like, but will we? We don't know. Hey. <laughs> You're doing these voiceovers, you know what I mean? Reminds me, I gotta stop over at Disney Corporation. You might see as well what they do that while about. you out here, while I you know, got some free time, right? <laughs> um, I don't fly out till Monday, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there's gonna be a lot of critics because the fans are back. We have a crowd this time. There's gonna be a lot of people who are going to judge you and say, you mm. know what? These new era guys, these guys who became popping during COVID, yeah. they can't stand in front of the crowds, and this is a test. How do you feel about you just that? Did. That's my They're going to mention the stumbles. They're going to mention the I excitement. Still gave it. I still gave you the entire first. Yeah, it stumbled. And you're the best stumble. Kobe misses shots. Jordan misses shots. He's still Kobe. He's still Jordan. Show me a vet that ain't never stumbled. Show me a top tier that ain't never stumbled. That's difficult to do. Man. Yeah. So it's like, I ain't going to make no excuses because next time I for show, I'm going to make sure I don't do shit to like, <laughs> I'm gonna keep focused the next time. Same way I did it in the second and the third, but yeah. I mean, so what's next for you, right? You just battled Ab, you've been having a good year so far. Your last year was great as well. What is next for you? Like you're on Gnome this year, it's a big deal. Drake is here, we're finally getting crowds back. Will you be on Summer Madness or are you looking forward to being on Summer Madness? Yeah, I'll def if they call me for Summer Madness, I'll definitely do it. It don't really matter who it is, like, I think I earned it, but you know, I'm hearing whispers as to like how they trying to go about it. I won't reveal nothing that because it's all hearsay. But you know, it, it's really I'm I'm grateful for any opportunity. It could be a volume or like I'm just I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm willing to battle, well, especially now that the crowds is will back. Will be the next big test, I believe, with yeah. the crowds, meaning there may be a, a bigger crowd. So that is something that people will be looking forward to you being there or performing on because they want to be able to judge you in front of that crowd mm -hmm. as opposed to in the caffeine small room. So yeah, yeah. that's why it's one of those questions I just have to ask. They're looking forward to it. Of course, I told you they're going to mention the stumbles. Like you said, you still got through your material. Mm -hmm. You still had a, you know, the other two rounds were good. You feel like you won the other two rounds. Shout out to Ab because his third was like off the meat rack for real. He was crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all about elevation. 
from yeah. here on. So I'm looking forward to you being on Summer Madness. Um, as far as the voiceovers, what's next? Will you be a vo- <laughs> if you're not gonna be on Summer Madness? Are you gonna be doing the voiceovers? Oh yeah, they the gotta trailer? call me for the trailer at least. They gotta do that. I mean, Summer Madness. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta get the you gotta get the voice of God on that motherfucker. <laughs> I'll then, take it from here. How did it even come about? I know I know a lot of people were saying it in the beginning, but. Was that a thing where it's like the fans pressured people into calling you or did they just reach out like, listen, I think so. we like, gotta make this happen? Yeah, Beasley just hit me. It's like, all right, man, I'm done fighting with the fans. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right. <laughs> so now I guess we're going to start trailers with Beasley and end them with you, which is phenomenal. Uh, it, <laughs> like, I prefer to like keep everything like kind of, like, like when you need it to be theatrical, I feel like that's when... But like oh, just so like, you only doing voiceovers for big events is what you're saying. Well, or like, like or real the, grudge matches, real yeah, important like matches. something that needs that. You know what I mean? I'm not. I don't think it would be strong enough for me to like just make announcements and shit because that's kind of weird. Beasley's great at that. You know what I mean? Like, like telling people details in the trailer and things like that. And you know, I mean, I could do it, but it's like, why? Like, you're hearing the theatrical voice now give details. It's like. Nah, save him for the theatrics. You know what I mean? Like, and then let Beasley do the, man, that sounds like I'm kind of like putting Beasley down here. But I mean, it's just like, um, what's the word for it? Uh, <laughs> um, specialization. Like, you know, these people do that, that people, that person does that. Like, mm-hmm. my opinion, like, I think that would be the best way to utilize. Basically, Beasley watched the job on doing voiceovers on trailers. <laughs> um, but I see they about to jump right back into battles. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a lit yeah, night. Right. Um, is there any battle tonight besides yours, obviously, that you're looking forward to watching? I know everybody wants Rex. to watch. All of them. Um, All of them, to be Rex honest. Rex versus Easy. But is that the one that you're looking nah, for? Danny and Sick about to mm-hmm. wild out. Uh, all of them, honestly. Dot and DNA. Uh, um, yeah, Rex, and of course the hundred K. Like, yeah, all these, all these guys, man. I'm excited. How you feel about the West taking over things right now? Cause right now y'all kind of ruling what's going on in battle rap. How do you feel about that? I feel like uh, it's uh, definitely earned. I mean, a lot of a lot of the pioneers in the West definitely like worked their ass off to get to this point. So, you know. We gonna try and hold the torch and for as long as we can, but you know it's just like everything, like that type of um, that type of success breeds competition elsewhere. So we might not be the king of the hill for too long, and then when that happens, we'll just keep fighting. And then, but the thing about that is that takes battle rap to the next level. Yeah. That's why this culture is as far as it is because of that. Like, so it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, listen, the trailers are done. They done rolling. We gonna jump back into the crowd. Shout out to everybody who won tickets to be here at Gnome. It's URL TV Media News, Slim Rita, Jada Nightwing, and we out. We out. <laughs>